Hey, Cyclone fans, welcome to another edition of Cyclone Game Center, brought to you by our friends at Kingland Systems, great, great uh, supporters of Cyclone Athletics. Today, we're going to look at the game from the 2016-17 season in Allen Fieldhouse against number two, Kansas. And uh, this is a tremendous basketball game. And we are joined by Coach Steve Prohm. Hi, Coach. How are you doing? I'm great, man. Thanks for doing this, John. Good to see you guys. Happy to do it. Love doing it. And uh, we've got from Indianapolis joining us, uh, Naz Meacher Long. Hey, Naz. John, what's going on, man? How are you? Doing fantastic. And uh, we got Monte Morris from Denver, too. Hey, Monte. What's up, my guy? What's up, John? How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Good to see you. So let's go ahead and have Austin roll the tape. And you guys kind of tell me about it, because, I mean, these guys have won 54 in a row at home, and that sign says they're going to do it again. But they had other things coming here. Yeah, that, that was a nice little motivational piece. <laughs> yeah. Caught some of our eye. Yeah, obviously going up there, this was a big, big opportunity for this team because we, we started off the season really well. Then we kind of slumped for a minute. But this game really kind of set the stage. You can look, I think, from then on out, we played really, really good basketball after this game. Yeah. Dante kind of set the tone. This game, this game, Deontay had a chip on his shoulder too, because his his brothers then was saying he couldn't do nothing with Josh Jackson, and he was like, "All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my thing today." So, came out with 29 points. That was good. For us. You see that right there, Devonte, man. You could tell he was a pro. Like, yeah, you no, know, he had a lot of pro like moves. A yeah, lot of 20, pro number, though. 29 and eight for Deontay. He he was phenomenal. I mean, I don't know how many threes he made. I know he made a bunch. Deontay, we, got really, we got really good at this action right here. Bro. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. Yeah, the one thing people don't uh, – Monte, if you remember, we after the Iowa game, we watched tape. We were like 200-something in offense. Yeah. And then we kind of changed some things, put in that rover action. And, shoot, I think we ended up finishing like 11th in the country in offense. Yeah. Mm. Ugh. Ugh, that's tough. Giving it to your Detroit boy there. Yeah, he's a young boy. A young boy. <laughs> he had a he had a good game. Frank had like what thirty two, I think. Right? Yeah, people. Yeah, had, I always say Frank was the hardest person. I think I had to guard in college. One up for sure. I think a lot of it too was uh, he would get to the foul line like he would use his body and get a lot of free throws too. He was yeah, he he was a bulldog. I think this is his only loss in conference play in uh, his four years. I, I could be mistaken, but I think that's right. At home? Yeah, at, yeah, home. at home. At home. Yep. Now, they did get out to a pretty decent lead on you. Yeah, we wasn't rebounding. Landon Lucas had like 18, I think, right? Rebounds? Yeah. Yeah, we struggled all. That was the one Achilles heel with that team. We just couldn't rebound. You know, our, we shot it so well and we assisted it so well. We just that didn't rebound it. Crazy. Burton. Shout out to Frank, the GOAT, by the way, back there. <laughs> and, and I see Ron Duke with the jersey. They got Bab at the full four. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're small. We got Burton at the five right now. So they're up nine, but Monte comes back here with a mid-range jumper. Yeah, that's my bread and butter right that's there. That's what I, you know, we, when we show our recruiting tapes, that's why I'm like, yeah, Monte, that's his shot, man. That little elbow, 15, yeah. 17, full up, that's his. It's a tech, a tech mode right here. And one. Hey! That was tough. Yeah. I'm chatting to him, too. I'm letting him hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too. But Graham's a really good player. Had a great year. He and Mason were tough guards, man. He hit that. That's my fault. Smalls was so mad at me when he hit that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can look. There's a lot of pros out there, like Naz was talking off air. I mean, you know, I mean, both teams were really, really good. For real. The only thing that makes you sick rewatching this is we should have got back to Kansas City to play them again. Yeah, oh. that would have been and one. That's an and one, bro. Yeah, no rest and respect me, man. That's crazy. Now, you're one of the few teams, Steve, that's willing to go run with these guys, though, in Allen Fieldhouse. Yeah, I just – you know, especially the, the way these guys wanted to play, and I think the way we needed to play, our, our pace was really good. You could see, I mean, we're – Monte's got it end-to-end -end already, and we're kind of in a, kind of our overload series right here. And As well. Obviously, Naz, Naz, Matt Thomas, two of the best three-point shooters, players in history of the school. Nice tip in here from Nick. 
He passed the dunk this. Short. Hey, I won. Hey, it's so bad. You know, when you look at Bab as a sophomore, you just see how much he grew in those three years. Mm -hmm. Senior year, he was awesome for us. For Back. sure. Absolutely. Frank ain't missed a three this game. He was hitting. He ain't missed a shot till the last to the, the – That's what I'm saying. He was like you know, nine for 11. Yeah. It's crazy. They was, they was trying to hedge my screens. Screw on. Simple play, extra. You know, that's good. See, the thing that made these games real good, too, is, like, both teams, like, as a collective, we all had a lot of respect for each other. Yeah, so, so like, we already we knew. knew. that There was some dogs on the court, and we needed to yeah, go around. Yeah. The one thing, you look at just the way they moved the ball, that last possession, the ball never stuck. I mean, it just move, 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 open three. Mm -hmm. yeah. so there's halftime right there. You so, guys are down 14 at the half. Naz, Naz do you remember when I – when I was it at half or before the game, when I was like, man, we underdogs, let's just come out. We ain't got nothing to lose. Let's go out here and play freely. Mm -hmm. That was before the game. game. Out and start. Man, bro, I don't know what clicked for us. He was just killing. You reiterated it at halftime real nice. But Coach, like, too, you were saying that, like, mm -hmm. when we was talking off air, like, Coach Smalls had the craziest pregame speech the day yeah. before, and then Coach P, you reiterated that. Tay, you took a leadership role, and then we just clicked. Yeah, I was like, man, they already counting us out. We ain't yeah. to lose. Let's go shock the world. Let's play free and just hoop, and that's what we was doing. You yeah. can feel like we got down, what, 15, and we still running our offense, getting good shots. It's yeah. tough. Facts. I, think we was, I think we were attacking them, though. A lot of teams wasn't attacking them like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And Deontay had an incredible game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I joke, man. I said I didn't get any emails about Deontay's shot selection after this game. <laughs> <laughs> he was awesome, though. Yeah. He hits one coming up, man, in transition. That's that, that's the one I was I was running to the ball trying to get us in offense. He shot it. I was like, oh my god! It reminded me of open gym. <laughs> Yeah, for, that's exactly what I was just about to say. I was behind him because no one was guarding me. I'm like, one more behind. And he shot the three, and that's – Man, we could not rebound. You know what that is. That's catch. Make that one. But see, each time they hit a big shot, you guys answered. That's what was – that's how you stayed in it. And Naz is going to hit here. You guys just always seem to have the answer. You know, one thing I think that helped us a lot in this game is having a lot of veteran leadership. Mm -hmm. We've all played in this gym before, so it was like just another, you know, atmosphere for us. We handled it well. Good pass, Matt. That was a great pass. I mean, we got four. We got four NBA players out there. You know what I'm saying? Bad, bad out here too. He professional. Yeah. It was. See, that's some of the rover action right there. To where you know, I thought that was good for us. You know. That was, especially with our personnel, the role were the role were really good with us. Yeah, be that. Yeah, Deontay was was awesome, man. Now they're trying to lob here, it doesn't work, and you're gonna make them pay in transition. Yeah, that was a big play though, you know what I mean? Because this is a five point swing here. Hey. That's Kansas's deal, you know, when they put that athletic wing in a corner, you know they want the back cut or the lob dunk. That's kind of like their state. I'm saying, man. <laughs> when you see Coach Self looking frustrated like that, you know everybody's, you know? Yeah. <laughs> good. We're feeling good. This was a big shot, boy. Yeah. Solo sets the screen. Oh, yeah. This is a big shot. That's NBA range. Needed that. Man. I think you come back again down and do something. So ESPN's now, now gonna show game going here. ESPN's gonna show a little. So what was you thinking? Game. What was you thinking about around this time, coach? Like, man, yeah, it's hey, a we're game. Now, now we're, we're back where we want to be here. Now, obviously, uh, you know, we got it down to three. Yeah, you know, and now hopefully we can put some stops together. You know, because offensively we could really score. Yeah. I mean, just look at, you know, and Matt was hurt, like we said, most of the game. Mm -hmm. But Donovan came in, played big. Solomon. He's kind of the unsung hero in this game. Played the last, like, 20, 23 minutes, I think. One thing about their crowd at that place, it's like Hilton. Those it fans so know, quiet. When, they know when they need them, though. It gets, it's going to get yeah. a lot louder as the game's going on here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But you guys yeah, got to That rover action, man. That's a big shot, Nash. 
See, at that point, like we're all feeding off each other right now. Yeah, we just moving. And the one thing, coach, I gotta, I gotta commend you on is you saw like when the energy was towards one player, you you kept calling the number, like you was calling my number a lot. Then you called Monte's number a lot. Deontay was just out there balling the whole game, like. So this is a good take, D Jack. Ooh, D Jack. <laughs> That's tough. Offhand too, yeah, right? That's tough. Back, inside see his face. Finish. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. Wait till this the is, end. Uh, this is good <laughs> stuff from Monte right here. Eight. Shot clock winding down. Hey, good pass. And that's Bang. a good time play now. So now it's a one point game. This, this is when we really were like, all right, we really could win this. I'm game. like, man, we right here. Yeah. Our defense getting it into it. We hedging. This is a good steal by Solo. That was big. Yeah, that's a great play. play right here. I'm trying to run to the ball because I'm like, we down one. We could take yeah. the lead. That's the one. <laughs> Let That's one of our friends was like, no, 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 yes. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. He said, oh, man. <laughs> Look at West G. Yeah, trail by 15. Took the lead. What was you feeling right here, Coach? Feeling good now. I mean, that, that shot, though, I was like you, probably like, hey, man, let's run something here. <laughs> Deontay was, was, I mean, six for seven. He's phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenal. I mean, he, 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 he had a great senior year. I mean, mm. you look at it like from his junior, senior year and what he's doing now. I mean, he's got an awesome story. He, he was awesome. They get into the game now. You see them trying to get us out of our bodies. Yeah, they're trying to bring him back. Yep. Did, did, did you guys just see the, the older guy in the crowd? There? He was catching a five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can see Solo's solo. block, Solo's deflection. I mean, he made some big plays. Let's see what we do here. Pickley and Rover. Yeah, going back to Rover. Yeah. Hey, hey. We really got good at this action, bro. Yeah. Oh, this is a big shot, Nash. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes, yes sir. So. That was big, man. bro. <laughs> that was big. Yeah, we did that one. Like that shot right there. Like that just – we had a lot of senior vets, though. Like we we could have forced up some. We were living with that shot. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. Need that. Need great help there. My ticket's fouled here. So. Ooh, I was about to say. Man, I had to use my body right there. <laughs> but they're not going away quietly. Right. Good play. Oh. There's, maybe that <laughs> one, the shot selection wasn't so great. <laughs> yeah, that one. Probably should lay that one in. Oh, Naz, I thought you had that charge. I was about to say, I didn't look at my feet. I, I, I couldn't you tell. It was like in the circle. I was. Yeah, it's tough. And you kind of turn to the side a little bit. Now, yeah. this is huge, you guys. This is huge. They're up two and with the ball, minute 23 to go. So you got to get a stop. Good D great, solo. Great wall up by Solomon there. Mm -hmm. And then yep. the guy who always seems to hit big shots and big moments is going to come through for us right here. Oh, this oh, is the three. We run right here. Just four slip. action, four action slip, and just you got it right up, right into the three. That's tough. Oh. Though. Like, see, like that right there, like you can't. You got it. Like big time players make big time plays yeah. and big time moves. That's sick. I just hit that. <laughs> and in the face. So Mason gets to the free throw. giving Frank that call, bro. You know what I'm about to say, that, bro. Come on. Come on okay. We're looking at Monte's three again. Earned it. That's tough. Over Jackson. Uh, Flint, Flint Town on Detroit, baby. And that's a <laughs> six. Like he's six seven too. Like. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Sweet. I seen Luku in the cut over there too. Shout out to Luku. So he goes one for two. A chance here late in regulation. Um, sorry, Monte. What happened right here? Well, I shot something. <laughs> that was a good look. It was a really good look. Oh yeah, that's a good. Oh, absolutely. It's a good look. Absolutely. This is where they go one on one with you, Naz, at the end here, and we get the stop. It's one on one with you and Mason. Yeah. They're going to get a timeout first. Yeah, yeah they, and, end up going, uh, they end up going one four flat with Mason and Long and Nash. Man, how did I miss that, though? That's a floater. That's my bread and butter. That is bread and butter, too. Man, I, ain't, I don't even remember that shot. That's crazy. Now watch this, Monte. The place is going nuts. You're like, yeah, bring it on. I want to hear more. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We here now. I'm like, yeah, we here. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing else to do but win this game. We here. We came this far. So Mason hasn't missed at this point. He's nine for nine. He's got career high 32 points. Naz was like, I got him. Watch out. I got him. He's gonna push off and get away with it. Honestly, I, I look back and I thought it was a bucket. I thought it was good too. I ain't gonna. Just because the separation he got off the push off, look. Oh, <laughs> it did. Back room. It's crazy though. Me and him missed two good looks. Yeah. Yeah. Two best point guards in the country, each missing their chance to win it there. So, Man. Two so we're going to go to overtime. What was you telling me right here? <laughs> you would probably make that floater. We'd be out of there, man. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't score for a while. In, nobody scored for a while in overtime. It we were just into it here. Yeah. You, this would tell you, you start taking over. OT. Yeah, yeah. He may go five in a row here. This is yeah. a big play here now. Get out the way. I got, I got him. Oh, step back. That's tough. Hey. Mm -hmm. Cause we go up five, don't we? Do we go up 87, 82, I think maybe. Yeah, you're going to because uh, Deontay's going to hit a 7 3 of the game here in a minute. That's a good take. Good D. He's so low. That's big time. I know Solo like cats, but he was playing like a dog in this game. Yeah. Yeah, he had a pet cat. I was trying to go once again with Savi. I ain't going to hold you. Hey. This cat. You say, you say. I was trying to go once again. 7 3 of the game for the coach. you like, uh oh, we might got one. I think we about to get this one. <laughs> see right there, though? You see how Matt, Matt was hurt the whole game. He danced, I think he has a goose egg. And yeah. he, first guy off the bench, like, yeah. you know what I mean, camaraderie, everything was real tight these times. That's a year, tough man. shot. That's very tough. Faden, too. Burton. I always like them widescreen views because you could see the whole crowd. Yeah. Behind, you know what yeah. I mean? It did. Ooh. It's tough. Yeah. You get it back to a one possession game. You tell D, come on. So they get it down to one, and you get the timeout here. And then Steve is the hammer play coming up. Yeah, we were trying to get Monte. I was just, I think we were just trying to get Monte in space, yeah. you know, up top. Uh, if I can remember right. And obviously he makes the great read and is obviously able to find uh yeah, for, it's our Mason action. We're just trying to get him off this kind of double high stack. They switch, and now he's got Jackson to where he can take him. And he's patient, though. That's the biggest thing. Donovan mm -hmm. relocates. Bang. Onions. Biggest shot of Donovan's career right there. Man. Yeah. Howard's had that same look last year, though. <laughs> Yeah, you know the thing? We always have played well up there. We had a corner three the year before that if he makes it, we go up four late. Uh, he had it on the other corner, in the other corner. It's crazy Donovan relocated like that, though. A lot of people would have said next level. Yeah. That relocates. Look at Kurt. <laughs> 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 hey, Kurt was lying, Mo. Yeah. Coach, you got a shot. Ooh, that's tough. Ooh, I was about to say, if he makes that. Man, we still can't rebound. No. <laughs> and he does make that one. Gets it to one. Not surprising you get that foul call. Man. Monte gets fouled here. And he ends, what'd you go, one for two here, I think. No, nah, he made them both. He makes them both. <laughs> yeah. I made them both. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank God. Man. She looks that sick. Was sick. They try to make me miss so crazy. That's a lot of pressure, though. I ain't going to hold Now, Monte, you, by the way, you had no, no turnovers, seven assists, no turnovers in 44 minutes in that building. That's pretty good, man. He played well, 44? Two, played 44 minutes. Yeah. When did he come out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They probably all played about 40-something. Yeah, this one I think they did. So they got one more shot at it to force another overtime. They always oh. run that play, too. He, someone's supposed to be in the backside there sending the back screen for Look at him. We loud. Like, they so quiet in there. Yeah. 
And Mike Stewart had to take over and go check that monitor for about 10 minutes here. So you guys couldn't celebrate right away. Yeah, I was like, man, are they about to call a foul here on, on us? What's about to happen here? <laughs> that guy watches more TV than Look my daughter. DJ. We like, we like, well, it's about to be cracking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we about to party at A's tonight, baby. <laughs> Uh, there it is. They say it's over. That's pretty awesome. I want to listen to it. We're going to listen here for a minute to Coach Prome because he uh, had a comment after the win in the press conference to open it up, and we want to listen into that. So we're going to we're going to listen in for just a minute. All right. Um, God is good, man. This is a special win, special day for these guys. <sighs> Just happy for these guys. You know, we lost to Gonzaga in Florida and down a stretch against the number one team. We lost to Baylor, same kind of way, Cincinnati. And I'm just happy for these guys. They deserve it. This is obviously this program's the standard. It's it's what you want to be. This is a great environment. Coach Self, they've got an unbelievable tradition here. But I'm just really happy for these guys and for this moment. That was a big win for this team. Mm -hmm. you know, that really kind of like I said, we were five and four. We yeah. like, man, we you know, lose what, what you were saying there was, you know, you guys had lost a lot of really tight, close games that season to that point. And to break through in that place, you know, with that much on the line, I know it was a, it was an emotional day, but that's kind of what you were saying in that press conference moment there is just that, you know, this, it was fun to see these guys break through and get a, a win like that. But well, we lost to Gonzaga by right. in overtime by one. We lost to Cincinnati at home, where, you know, by one. Yeah. And and we 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 were due for a big one, and the guys deserve that. And so, like I said, we ended up obviously finishing really well. Won the Big Twelve tournament, the Purdue game. You know, you wish you could have that one back. You know, because I just we weren't at our best for that first half. Second half we played really well. Um, but there's Cass. Yeah, so good. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know what's really – what says a lot about the guys like Naz, Deontay, Monte, Matt, the guys that have been there a while in the program is, uh, you know, I was telling you off air, John, uh, I had a, I left my phone at home. I went to church Sunday morning, and uh, Coach Self had left me a message, you know, and basically just saying how much respect he had uh, for this program, but more importantly, how much respect he had for those four seniors – and what they had been able to accomplish here in their four years. Now, as you had a decision, you know, and, and a tough decision, you end up deciding to come back. This was your fifth year in the program. And uh, to get an opportunity one more time in Allen Fieldhouse and then make the most of it, you had, you had six threes. I mean, John had seven. You had six. Um, it had to be a great feeling. Yeah, um, it was awesome, man, just because of the fact of everything that I had went through the year prior. Um, I actually had a pretty deep conversation with Monte, um, basically about the year, you know, me coming into the fifth year, what's he going to be around? Because obviously Monte could have left um, after his junior year, but he said, look, man, I, I ain't come here to just get in and out. Like, I want to finish my, my legacy. I want to add to it, and I want to be in the best possible position after this is said and done. And I was like, I'm, I'm with you. We're on the same page. And um, having him, Matt, Monte, I mean, uh, Deontay, you know, all of us being on the same collective uh, page of wanting to just do great for Iowa State. And ultimately, we were going to get some individual accolades af after. Um, I think a game like this and then what, we've gone, what we went on to do that year was special, man. And it, it, all, it all made it worth it. Yeah, you had a tough decision too, Monte. And I imagine a, a day like this, and I remember uh, a shot of you uh, holding Cass on your lap after the game uh, there in Allen Fieldhouse, man. It was just such a cool moment. But – you know, to win a game like that, that had to make it all feel so worthwhile. Yeah, it did. Um, like, I had uh, hurt my shoulder my junior year, actually in Allen Fieldhouse in that game, uh, right before the Big 12 tournament. And uh, it's my AC joint. And I was in between leaving and coming back at that time. But once I got hurt, it kind of, like, made me think differently and wanted me to get my degree and then play one more year there coach prone because we had got great chemistry and then Nas we had our conversation he knew I was coming back like way before everybody uh yeah I told him I was coming back probably around that time right before the big 12 tournament so it was kind of good for him to know you know it wasn't that odd man in the room 
Like, man, what's he going to do type of thing. It was, all right, this is our agenda on far as senior year. This is what we want to accomplish. And uh, I feel like we had a chance to do it, and we did everything we wanted to do, you know, um, being able to be all the time and assists and wins. We got our same ball. He got his 1,000 points when I think I got the assist record. At the same time, we there was things we kind of talked about, and then to see it all unfold, you know, go 10-0 and against Oklahoma State, you know, during our time there, and also winning another Big 12 championship and going to the tournament, I think we could take off everything that we wanted to do at our time, especially our last year there. So we played for Iowa State, and I think that's why it was easy for us to, you know, be successful because we all was bought in and we knew how much the university uh, and Ames and, uh, and Iowa really supported us. Steve, I think that's the thing. These guys played for that. That and it's corny to say it. It's it's cliche, but it's true. These guys played for the name on the front of the jersey. They did, and and that's why you love having guys like this in your program. Yeah, these guys. You know, you listen to Monte and Nas talk. You kind of get chill bumps. And 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 I remember it was even after um, after we lost in Milwaukee. You know, and I never forget it. And because uh, somebody came up to me afterwards and kind of said, "I'm glad you said it." But Randy Peterson was like. All right, now you're losing, you know, Fred's guys, your guys are going to come in next year. And I was like, no, 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 these are my guys too now. They, you know, and so, you know, I had two great years with both those guys and Matt and Deontay and those guys. And these guys know, like in the summer, you know, Deontay put his name in the draft a little bit, if y'all remember that. And then, you know, we needed to get Deontay in the fold, you know, uh, for like the four horsemen, so to speak, you could say. And, once Deontay got all in, though we had our ups and downs early, man, that team was – there's teams you coach that when you walk out there, you're like, I don't know what the score is going to be or how it's going to go, but this team's ability to make shots and, and change the tempo of a game, home against Baylor, home against Oklahoma State, you never worry. Like, we, I knew these guys were going were gonna to do really well, and it was cool getting over the hump at – West Virginia. If we ever show that game one day, yeah. I can tell how I felt when Naz threw the alley oop to Deontay. I was like, "What are you doing?" And then, <laughs> and then uh, Deontay hammered it. But it's like you touched on; these guys did it the right way. Um, you know, Naz is is one of the best to ever come through here. But statistically, I think one of the top three point sh- leaders in the history of the school. Monte, all time assists, all time wins leader. Um, these guys did it. Don't forget, the, don't forget the steals either. Steals <laughs> either. Yeah. Steals. And yeah. so, uh, <laughs> but they 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 did it right, and they represent this program so well uh, that it's really cool to see and experience some of those. It's like Naz. I mean, we we won the championship again in 2019. This guy drives from Oklahoma City. I think he was playing in that day in a G League game comes, watches us play the championship against Kansas, and then goes back to Oklahoma City through the night, that's, that's not – I don't know if you have a lot of people doing that to support their program. And so, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, we, I'm ready to get back to work and get our – kind of get last season's taste out of my mouth and, and, and get us back going. But I'm really, really proud of – you know, last couple of weeks ago we were on with Matt and George and, these two guys, these guys, they all did it the right way. I'm really, really proud of them. Yeah, we all are as Cyclone fans and uh, appreciate you guys taking the time to do this today. Appreciate Kingland Systems for making this possible. And, man, it's been a blast to go back and look at that game. There aren't many teams that go into Allen Fieldhouse and win. So when you do it, it's special. And uh, it was a lot of fun to watch it with you guys. Sure. Was that um, was that uh, our senior year now is when West Virginia almost had them, then they choked when they was like a minute <laughs> Yeah, they had them down like 12, didn't they, or 10 or something like that. Crazy. With about a minute to go. Yeah. uh, I I think that may have been the Monday night. Yeah, Yeah. Monday. And after us, it may have been Big Monday there. I'm not sure if that's right or not, but, um, you know, but, yeah, they were up 10 or 12 with about a minute to go, and the Ghost Island Fieldhouse took over. They said, no, not not this time, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Huggins' press conference was probably a little bit different than my press conference. (laughs) Probably had a couple of expletives in there. Right. And and, and three, a couple of things before we leave. Like, one, like, I got to say this because my man is going to watch this and he's going to be real happy that I mentioned this. But Mark Hansen, I met with him after the game and it was his Mm -hmm. birthday and he was in tears. Yeah. Literally, like, crying, couldn't speak. 
hugging Coach P, hugging myself. You know, Matt is real tight with him. And, like, that's what it meant to, to Iowa State and the program as a whole. And then mm-hmm. I just wanted to add as well, like, I mean, a game like that and it's going to do what we did. I mean, Monte, I mean, you look at his his career statistics, arguably the best player to ever play at Iowa State, you know. And, and, and the final thing I wanted to say is, you know, the whole, you know, these are Fred's guys. Now you get your guy. No, like yeah. that Deontay thing, him entering himself into the draft was yeah. a real thing. Like me and yeah, Monte that had a conversation, yeah. but like people were telling him, look, you can get drafted and go. Like it was my fifth year. I could have grad transferred and left, but we all came back because we respected Coach P and he had a plan and, and system in place. Talk about Rover. That's going to compliment Monte, put him in space. That's going to compliment Deontay being the small ball. You see where the league's going now. And then myself and Matt, you know, just give us the opportunity to shoot and also create because we wanted to grow. So um, I'm happy you chose this game, John. And I'm happy yeah. I was able to get on here with you guys, man. And yeah. we could vibe out and, and see, see something great like this and relive it, man, because this was special for sure. Yeah, we'll do it again sometime, sure. you guys. Appreciate uh, you doing this. That, that, was, that was really fun. Appreciate you doing it. For sure. Thank you.